here in the wasteland that you will need it. Hey. Um. Yeah, we need to get into the Jefferson Monument or Memorial, whatever it is. Hey there. Hello. mean we'll have to fight some script mutants. Hey there. Don't you have a component to deliver? Was there something else? No. You know what you need to do. Yes, indeed I do. But you're not gonna like it. Weatherly Hotel. No, I don't want to go to the Weatherly Hotel. Yeah, those bastards are going to go to the Jefferson Memorial. But it's full of uh, Sprimitans. Oh, is there a there too? Is everything all right? Some people are in such a hurry. Hey there. Oh. I am unsure how useful I will be at this purity project, but I am happy to do whatever I can to help Dr. Lee. What's your story? I have worked for Dr. Lee for many years. She has been good to me, helped me through some difficult times. I had little purpose in my life before she helped me. So now, I help her in return. I am no scientist, but I am good with machines. Bye. Oh, what's the best weapon to encounter super mutants? Uh, we'll start with grenades. We could use mines too. This I'll stop here somewhere. Searching a wanderer without a weapon doesn't last long out there. Pick up the best now while you still can. It's my pleasure to offer hot death in a variety of exciting flavors. Take your pick. What's our flamer condition? Uh, it could use uh, upgrade. Fish kebab schematic. Uh, that's a um, melee weapon. I think melee weapon defensively, but it's uh, it also does fire damage. Oh, I'm not too keen on that. We have no melee weapon focus. Death's Claw Hand is a potential unarmed weapon, I think. That's I'm somewhat more interested in that because if I recall correctly, that means bypassing damage, uh, damage resistance. Another satisfied customer. And since I have no skill and no perks. Reinforcement in my unarmed skill or melee skill for that matter. Uh, I'll, bypassing the damage resistance would be great. Until we meet again, keep yourself alive out there. Hello. I definitely could be wrong on that, so. What is this? Regulators.
They're killing everyone. Jesus Christ. I'm being shot from the back. Yeah. Yeah, I need to load. A caravan guard is shooting at me. So... I think it escalated Hello. quite badly. Maybe I accidentally did damage to one of these guys during the fight. And then everything turned to shit. Yeah. Hit. I think we got a critical hit or something. It's really hard to hit these guys in a normal with hunt mode. And yeah, I don't know when you're Be one more left. These guys have good weapons, fifty experience per kill. I don't think know this. Huh. Big later duster. Ah, uh, we have a low lawful bounty of one thousand now. This is sort of a where is this coming from? The only thing, uh, thing I can think of is the what we did in the in the matrix. So, but that should in no way, no one should possibly could know about that. And it's a simulated experience anyway, so no one died because of that. Only the bad thing I did exactly was that I didn't murder anyone. Uh, I left the people alive in their hellish experience. This is some of those things, if that's indeed what is happening here, it's exactly why I hate that. I hate the fact they don't have a separate reputation from karma, because it's not the same thing. It's not even close to being the same thing, and it has a lot of utility if you separate them, and it breaks the game world if you keep them tied together right here. There's no... I can't see any reason why anyone would put a lawful bounty on me. I've only done good deeds in the real world. This is like saying if you kill a person in a video game, you are a murderer in real life and can be hunted down. It, 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 it's just stupid. Mm, uh, I don't want to waste eating items on this. I think my armor is in pretty shitty shape too. Hmm, well, pretty bad, yeah. I think I'll make a quick visit to the doctor. Hey there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the clinic? It's hundred caps, but uh, I'm looking for troublemakers. If you it's you're wounded, let me bandage that. Yeah, I could use some help. You're right. You do need a doctor. Lucky I happened along, but first let's discuss my fee. One hundred caps sought to cover it. Yeah. This won't hurt a bit. Nah, just kidding. It will probably hurt a lot. That would have but still. That would have been at least five steam packs, and that wouldn't have repaired our limb condition. So that's one hundred fifty. You're all set. Are we? Minimum of 150 if we would have Take used it. items to do that. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Hey. So, it's a cost effective way to heal in some situations, and this is one of them. Hey. We're probably going to get hurt quite a bit badly when we fight the super mutants anyway, but they're. In all likelihood, going to be easier opponents. I, I'd like to have the Chinese assault rifle. It's, I think it has a better, some kind of penetration value or something like it, like that. All the spread on the shotgun is very, very, very strong, so it doesn't hit at all on the even to medium ranges. I'd like to have shades on my character. Glasses are nice, but shades would be better, really. Don't want to have sun in your eye. That's probably the reason I'm not hitting all the both my weapons. It's really the most likely explanation. Three mutants. Here's one. Uh, I'm not interested in fighting every one of them. There's probably enough of them at the monument, or even inside the monument. So ah, shit. We're going to unarmed combat against Supreme Mutants, that's lovely. Maybe we can repair our own minigun. Oh yes, it's in a fairly good condition already. Yeah. Untie her. My, thank you, thank you so much. I thought I was dead for sure. Here, I managed to hide these supplies before they tied me up. You take them. It's the best I can do to thank you. Yeah, you need them more. You're right. It's dangerous out here. I... I have to go, before more of them come. 
We probably needed that karma boost. I, I don't want to fight the regulators constantly either. This might be a good time to visit some of the slaver locations. Uh, mutilated organs. Because our reputation or karma is probably not at a high point. So they might not react overtly hostile towards us. Uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's a good goal after we clear out the Jefferson Memorial. Flying Congress Congressional style. And we then rounds a crutch. You? Go or bag. All caps. Oh no. And mutilated skull. Mm hmm. Nothing gets you started better in the morning than a bag full of gore. Tasty, tasty gore. Slightly super mutants there. I don't think plot critical people can be killed. I think children can be harmed. Although that's a uh, that's horse crap. I don't want to go out of my way to hurt children, but here's the thing. In some situations, in order to keep things contained, it's good to kill all the witnesses. But if there are targets that can't be killed, it'll just mess things up. Ah, uh, she's dead. I think I have a few few such incidents like mm, I don't recall the details, but a fight broke out, and uh, one child was a witness to that. So my initial thought was, "Shit, this is bad. I uh, I need to." kill her immediately to stop thing, this, this thing from going bad if it were. So, actually, I tried to take out the child, the only witness remaining alive there, but he can't, she, he can't be killed, so then, but he can run around and he can alert others to what I have done. So, basically, there was an entire city that was hostile to me after that. And there was nothing I could do to that without killing everyone in the city as when the... Well, there's nothing you can do to that because you still can't kill the child, so... It'll just... Once a child was a witness to a crime, it was all over. You were doomed to be hostile towards everyone in a city, so... It can... If I wouldn't... If you're going to make something totally invulnerable, they might as well make them so that they don't react to anything either. That way you can uh, could have just contained the damage either by killing them or Hello. could have ignored the child altogether because it's not a uh, it's irrelevant to the situation. But trying to keep them as normal NPCs and but still making special rules for them breaks things quite severely. It might not be a common occurrence, but it it's still something that the player, if it happens, you're fudged. 
There's nothing you can do about that anymore. You have to just redo everything. And that's why I hate them. Uh, normal super immune. I'm not the one who started trying to kill a super mutant with a tire iron. At least I have a gun. Mm. I think she can die too. She clearly has her legs broken. Some Do people it. are in such a hurry. Eat chop. Yeah, hostiles. What I have? Uh, pack grenades. Yes, I do. What the hell is... Who besides me is here, that's what I want to know. Uh. An automated defense system, yeah. Um, collect it. No, no, no ED ending. There's a ton of them here. No ED and ES ending, please. Volunteer. Two out of nine. High tower. This potentially could be it. One out of nine. This could be it. Yeah. Mm, this company's. Mm. Yeah, it chooses everything, so deactivate it. There has to be more of them here. Uh, Mark 3, uh, not too dangerous. I think 4 starts to be dangerous, 5 is pretty goddamn dangerous. Found you. I'm 
congrats. These guys can take quite a lot of punishment. Brutes. I'll try to quickly look around and clear out the screamings. Your In the basement. That's probably where we want to go. I wear your over. Oh, right. yeah. mm, let's test the minigun again. It's, it's a good condition minigun. We have more skill. It might be worthwhile to retry this. We clear out everything. No. Uh, we just went in circles for a moment. Okay, this is quite an extensive area. Several levels. Levels themselves might not be all that big though. Good job. Uh, I'll sneak around. Uh, it takes a little bit of our time to get the minigun rolling, so... Great pump control. It's probably just a way to enter this area. Nothing more. Avoid the super mutant outside. Little waste. Basement is probably where we really want to go. No. This looks like exactly what we needed. Tours. Ah, yeah, someone shot a minigun right next to you. Some weird noise. No loot from centaurs. At least, not common loot.
Yeah, these fruits are a bit too much. I have no way to quickly take care of them. Uh, critical hits to the face or uh, some kind of code or something like that. Ooh, protect purity, personal journal 10, 8, 5. Auxiliary filtration input. Airlock control. Of the sub basement. I think I prefer flamethrower here because the weakness with flamethrower is the range. In a location like this, the range isn't all that important. No more Ching! It's nice sound to have in the game. Now try and hide from this. Hello, someone there. I didn't want to charge immediately because I was afraid the mine might explode. Okay, these doors need to be powered before they open up. Oh, there's still hostiles here. We're in pretty bad shape. It's right on top of us. I want to get rid of at least most of the mutants before doing any kind of a detailed search here. Okay, it was below us. Fine. Yeah, and that that happened. I'm going to say uh, more super mutants. Now try and hide from this. Uh, 
Flood control. I'll put some temporary mines here in case unexpected villagers decide to come see me. Flood control power switch. I, I'm not going to. Yeah, maybe I need the power. We cannot use. Mm. And we'll probably ignore all of that until we get specifically told to do it. Protect. Purity personal journal. Journal two one. Uh, uh, better days. We'll go through them when we've cleared this place out and we do the searching. Something to listen to while the search is being done. Didn't want those legs anyway. Okay. Till that it's safe to enter Project Purity, so that's probably the last mutant. When the game says it's clear, uh I believe it. Are these hollow discs audio oh, units? Ah general. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry. Since I left all of this behind to make a life for my daughter. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. And that's all I could have hoped for. Now my daughter is a grown woman. Beautiful, intelligent, confident. Just like her mother. And as hard as it was to admit it, she doesn't need her daddy anymore. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. Also, for now, I need help powering up the mainframe. I am to visit Madison at Rivet City. I don't think we have the next journal yet. So we have, we have. We're missing something. I spoke with Dr. Lee Madison at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Uh, is there nothing good here? Just some super mutant trash.
Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. But those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex's sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe with his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my daughter, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without her mother. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Madison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, he'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go but I must put the needs of my child before my own. Okay, Brotherhood was helping them. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals? Hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please, I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> no, I think that was all of them that I have.
My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. Yeah, that was, that was the last audio journal we had left. Is this really everything? We missed something. Was some of the journal or something? Pump control. Yep, we need to go to the rotunda. This is likely this place. I think that we might have missed something. Mm. The discs, hollow discs, are quite easy to miss. White black item in all this trash. It just doesn't pop out at all. It's so not all that dangerous if you miss them though. I think it's time to notify the others that this is cleared. They should be able to find out where where a gig is. Uh, I want to find it for or know about it for two reasons. One, naturally, we need to know how to move forward to main plot. Two, I don't want to accidentally pop into another main plot site, like I did with my father here. Because this once this the main story in this game is over, the game's over. So, and things will happen in the wasteland also as a consequence to that main plot, so I, I don't want to accidentally stumble into something like, or trigger some some kind of an event I can't turn back anymore, so I want it to be a constant, conscious decision when I do that. I have not even visited most of the wasteland at all yet, so it's, it's too soon. Are you alright? Is it safe in there? Yeah. He's taken care of, should be safe now. Excellent. Let's get inside and get to work. Is everything all right? Flamethrower is a great weapon, but you really don't want to use it if you have allies. They turn hostile on you so quickly. Well, maybe not allies, but non-hostiles. Oh. 
Watch where you're going. No. Let's walk there so we can get things going. Oh, great. Listen, I know who you are, okay? As far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Daniel Agincourt. What's your story? Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Yep. Just trying to do the right thing. Sure, sure. No matter that he disappears for almost 20 years, leaving us all hanging, it's not like we have lives or anything. Hmm. Do you think the Project Purity will ever... No, that's a endless question to even ask. Uh, anything I should know about this place? Besides the fact that you shouldn't be here? Don't touch anything you're not told to. There's enough to do around here without having to clean up after you. Hmm. Daniel, Daniel Surly is here. Just stay out of my way, okay? Sure thing, Surly. Hello, honey. No, no hurry. Just take your time. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. What's the big deal about water anyway? Like, yeah, why would human beings need water? Okay, what do we need to do right now? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. Okay. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. I will do all these little things now. And it should be pretty straightforward since everything here is dead already. I don't really recall what's what's where here, but I'm sure we'll land on the right places sooner or later. Pumps, 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 pumps.
Hey there. I hear we have you to thank for getting us up and running again. What's your story? Who, me? Oh, nothing special. I grew up in Rivet City and was always interested in what the scientists were doing there. Dr. Lee took me under her wing and taught me everything I know. Dan and I were out in the field when we got the call to come back. Anything I should know? I'd steer clear of the water if I were you. It's seeping in from the tidal basin, which means it's radioactive. If that's not bad enough, if there are any loose wires as the power comes back on, you might get a bit of a jolt. Know what I mean? Hmm. Have to go. Be careful, okay? So, what next? I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? Sure. I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world. Far more dangerous than anyone on that vault knows. You said something about fuses. Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Be okay, fuses, mainframe, got it. Busy work, busy work. But uh, I don't really mind, it's sort of, it is immersive. We're just getting things back How's to running shape, doing some basic maintenance. I, I don't really mind. We need to go down. Down, down, down. Just a mainframe. Boot up the mainframe. I'm assuming that's the door on the top that was in was locked. Nothing here. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Mm. Keep up the good work, honey. Drain the intake pipes. I wonder what's clogging them, whether well, it could be anything.
Hey there. It's locked. I'm not going to fight people with power armor with these kind of silly weapons. We'll see what happens. Multiple pod guys in power armor. That's going to be an easy task. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. It's coming to that. Lean throw properly is in the good weapon at this point. Yeah. Yeah. They have good armor, they have good weapons. Minor mistakes here will probably be lethal. Uh, I'll, I'll take extra. Yeah, addiction. You have become addicted to a drug. Take more of the drug to alleviate the side effects or visit the doctor to be healed. It's not a current problem. Barely taking damage from this. The gun was surprisingly good. Enclave power armor. Good condition, good laser rifle. Indeed. Um, I know I can't carry the power armor. I can do something else. I can drop them to the ground here. Ah. They're a little more likely to survive than just having a corpse there. I'm gonna rely on the minigun. If we're going to have to fight against more of them, I'll use a psycho to do up the damage. 25% increase in damage. There. 
if they are. Yeah, I'm a big kid. Shit. Doesn't really matter. I'd rather be addicted than dead. Level up. Uh, I, I dislike the automated level up system because exactly because of this. I, I, I didn't want to do a level up crap in the middle of a situation. It breaks the entire, entire thing. Explosives to yeah, I, I want to get my sneaking up. Maybe explosives to seventy five. Although I don't know. Speech might be a good thing. already fairly high. Mm, sneaking isn't going to raise itself though. And we are using sneaking all the goddamn time. Speech. Yeah, we're using that all the time too. But No, no, I'll take speech because I can see that being useful in everything. Sneaking, while useful, we haven't been relying on sneak attacks or anything like that. It's more of a free in intel situation for me. Okay, cannibal. You can eat corpses to gain health, you lose karma. 20% extra health from steam packs. Gain 30 hit points. Pyromaniac, yeah. 50% dam more damage with fire based weapons like Flamer and Shish Kebab. Uh, Robotics Expert, more damage to robots. Sneaking up on a hostile robot undetected and activating it will put that robot in a permanent shutdown. Uh, chance to hit upon his head in. The turn based mode significantly increased. So, Pyromaniac. Do I need to kill all of these bastards? No. Get to the Rotunda. I wonder how aggressive these guys are. They have uh, explosive skills. The mines didn't explode when they walked into them. There was uh, several second, several seconds before any reaction came. That's uh, mines are basically useless against enclave soldiers. At least in these small numbers. 
if there's a mass of units, the later ones will get the attribution cell, plasma rifle, Tesla armor, Tesla helmet. Yeah, I'm dropping them to ground. Plasma, we didn't take that all as well. I can't use a weapon. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once, and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. I'll do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give them a few moments to bring the system online. What is he doing in there? I grow tired of waiting. Nearly finished. Run. Run! What is he doing in there? James. He's gone. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now! Yeah, lead the way. There's an old tunnel that will lead us out of here to someplace safe. We used it as an evacuation route once before, but that was a long time ago. I hope everyone remembers how to get there. There isn't time to round everyone up. Come on, follow me, and hurry! What is going on up there? Don't wander off. We're going to need you. Right now. This tunnel leads to the Citadel, the Brotherhood of Steel's Fortress. We should be safe there, if we can make it. What do you mean, if we can make it? We're underground. No one's been down here for a long time. Odds are, we're not alone. Understand me? We don't have time to waste, we need to get moving. Yeah. <sighs> Let's get to it then.